Um, we have that we have the gut as the front too. Is that kind of clear now? You could explore it on your own between the oropharyngeal membrane and between the coracal <coughs> membrane. You're bringing in the yolk sac. Eventually, this will close off, and you will have the umbilical atlanto, and then it will come down. Now, the atlantos is still in our body. It's called the uracus. And the atlantos goes, or the uracus goes from the navel to the top of the bladder. So when you bring in the atlantos, I'm out like this. I come in through here, I go out through here, and then I come in. And I will root to the top of the bladder. This is a real permanent, it's here still, this structure. So find it yourself. You're drawing in your yolk sac. You're going to come out with the Atlantos through your navel. And then you find how you bring it in to the top of your bladder. And it will knit. Then when you add the perineal body, you're coming up behind that, and then you continue pulling down. You just keep knitting this front part of your body. body, come up somewhere about to the um, mid place here, then withdraw and come up to here. And progressively you are going to knit this way. You do it yourself, fall out, come in through here. There's usually a lot of confusion in this area. So you're not pulling in, you just feel someone, some something coming in. Don't pull it. Just feel inward coming and outward going and then a rooting into your bladder, into this bantian area. Behind it, come up from your groin, about the same place here in the middle, and then feel it come up. In the back, so this is the front body, the middle body. In the back, I like to do it with a piece of paper, because I, I don't have the right picture. This is the ectoderm, the back body, the back plate. It will begin to curve forward. It's being withdrawn from the back. The yolk sac is withdrawn from the front. The, yeah. The ectoderm went out, I mean the endoderm went out and then it came in. Now the ectoderm created the amniotic cavity. That stays on the outside. It's going to become the, 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 the womb bag. It begins to be drawn inward from the back. And you see this hole. A cloth would have been maybe better. But you see that here. You see how it's folding? When it does something that's not there, Eventually, this is going to fold off and be a neural tube, this part. But what's amazing is it's a wave-like movement. And the part that started to fold here, this is going 
going to do something different. This is going to be what's called the neuro-crest. That's this part. There's the fold, neural tube. But this part is going to have another wave, like so. Zips from the top down or the bottom up, it zips from the neck. 